track and a road cross at right angles. An observer stands on the road 70 meters south of the crossing and watches an eastbound train traveling at 60 meters per second. At how many meters per second is the train moving away from the observer four seconds after it passes through the intersection? So last time uh, I did this problem kind of in a longer way and I realized after that there's a much shorter method um, that'll get you the same result. Now either way will work um, but if you're looking for the quicker method this one's gonna be it. Uh, just like before I'm gonna start with a drawing. Makes it a little easier to visualize. So we have our observer in the y direction south uh, 70 meters away from the intersection. So we're going to say y equals y equals 70 and for x well we know that the train is traveling at 60 meters per second for four seconds. 60 times 4 is going to be 240. We also know that uh, our change in x relative to time is going to be 60, 60 meters per second. And since our observer is just uh, standing and watching, our change in y relative to time is going to be 0. That means we just have one more distance right here. And I'm going to call that C just to stick with Pythagorean theorem because this is a right triangle, which is going to be really important for our next step because we know that C squared is going to be equal to X squared plus Y squared. In other words, our hypotenuse is equal to the sum of our two legs. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and take the derivative with respect to uh, time. So I'm going to get, using my power rule, uh, 2c dc dt. equals 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt. Okay. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind here is that dy dt is actually zero, right? Because that's our observer. So this part we can get rid of completely. That's just the zero product property, right? We multiply by zero, uh, makes the whole thing zero. So we're left with 2c dc dt equals 2x dc dt. And I'm trying to get dc dt on its own. That's what I'm trying to solve for. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2c. Um, that'll help me simplify this a little bit. So I'm going to end up with, let's see, dc dt equals, and then if we look, our, our 2s are going to cancel. And I'm going to end up with x over c dx 
dt. And I know my values for, for x and dx dt. Um, I just need to find c, and then I can solve. So let's go ahead and do that. We do know, again, um, Pythagorean theorem, c squared is going to be equal to x squared plus y squared. So c is going to be equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Go ahead and get my square root symbol in there. Oops, let me fix that too. Okay. So c equals square root of the x is 240. So c is going to be equal to Let's go ahead and do that calculation. 240 squared plus 70 squared gets us 62,500. Which means C is equal to two hundred and fifty. Let's go ahead now and plug everything in. So DC DT equals X over C, which is two hundred and forty over two hundred and fifty times dx dt, which is going to be 60. And that means dc dt is going to be, let's go ahead and do that out, 57. Point six meters per second. Which is going to be 